Join us today as we show you how to reverse sear these New York steaks on your Weber gas grill. Let's head out, get the grill fired up, a little bit of prep, and let's get cooking. From an ingredient standpoint today, we're starting off with New York steaks. Now these are prime New York steaks. These are about 14 to 16 ounces each. So I want them to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker because that is gonna help with that reverse sear process. Then seasoning things off today, a little bit of our rub-a-dub seasoning. We'll use some oil as a binder. We're gonna keep it simple, finish it today with butter, a little bit of green onions. Now, when it comes to track and temperature, a couple things you can do. You can use that beautiful Weber Snap Check or you you can now get a little techie, use your Weber Connect. Today, we're gonna plug in that Weber Connect, which will allow us to track the temps from our phone while we hang out and relax and stay warm inside. Well, here we are at the grill. We've got everything cleaned up. And as you can see, we have expanded that top rack because that is where we're gonna start the reverse sear process. Now, today we're gonna be starting off indirect. So I'm only gonna ignite one burner and I'm gonna use that burner to control temperature while we reverse sear right at 250 degrees. We're all set, let's let it preheat. When it comes to the reverse sear process, definitely having a thicker steak is gonna be a little bit better because unlike traditional grilling where you turn the temperature up very high and you sear it off and you keep it at that high temperature the entire process, we're gonna start a little bit lower and slower on this, raise that internal temperature, sear it at the end. So a thicker steak's gonna help us out quite a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use a little bit of oil to act as my binder today. So we'll go ahead and just put a light coat of oil on here. We're gonna go ahead and get it all around, top, bottom, all the sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and coat it as much or as little as we like with our Rub-A-Dub seasoning. Now I'm gonna pack it on this side a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and get it on that side as well, on that side, in the back, and the top. And then if you have any left over on your tray, on your pan or on your paper, go ahead and pack it on like that. Now that that's seasoned, we'll go ahead and finish the rest of these off. We're gonna let these sit now for about 10 or 15 minutes while the grill gets up to cooking temp 250. All right, now that the steak is seasoned and resting, we're gonna go ahead and load that Weber Connect probe just like that. Got it in the middle here. Make sure we go all the way into the center of the steak. Now let's head out to the grill, get step number one started. We just hit that 250 degrees, time to finish loading steaks. You can see we've already got three of the four loaded up here, and we will go ahead and load number four like that. Then we'll run our Weber Connect wire out there. Now, keep in mind, these burners down below here are off. The only burner giving us heat is this very left one. So now we're gonna cook these at 250 degrees until our internal temperature hits 105 degrees. Then we'll come back and show you step two, the final sear. And now we'll go ahead and plug in the Weber Connect. Let that do its thing. We'll see our temperature come up here in just a minute. Right now we're sitting right at that 44 degree internal temp. Next up, we're gonna head on to the Weber Connect app, set our alarms, we're cooking. Well, we just hit 106 degrees, so we'll go ahead and take these off. Look at those beauties. Now, I'm gonna leave that Weber Connect probe in that steak because I'm gonna use that steak to tell me when these are done when the time comes as well. So we'll get that off there. We'll make sure we don't stack these guys on top of each other. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn on all the burners Hit ignite, fold that shelf back up. We're gonna let this preheat now to 550 degrees and it's time to sear. These steaks right over here, we're actually gonna let them rest while this heats because that will slow that process down a little bit. Make sure this reverse sear is perfect. Well, as you can see, just from resting uh, off the grill, our steaks have carried over to 113 degrees, but don't sweat it because now that the grill is preheated to 550, it is time to get cooking. We are preheated at 550 degrees, so now we'll go ahead and load those steaks, and I wanna put the steak on, give it a little press down just to help set those grill marks. Nice that they carried over to 113 degrees. That'll speed up our cook time a little bit, right? Get us right into that perfect spot. So now we'll go ahead and shut the grill. We're gonna let them go for about three minutes, and then we'll pick them up, rotate them, uh, just to get those beautiful steakhouse quality sear. Right after three minutes, we'll go ahead and pick those guys up, rotate them just a little bit. Want to get those beautiful grill marks. Now that we have them rotated, we'll go ahead and push down again just to help set those grill marks. And because we are cooking kind of hot and fast now, we are going to stay right at the grill and watch our Weber Connect temperature. So we'll close the grill. We'll finish up here. We'll get ready to flip them, cook these steaks to that 125. 
Time to get in here and give those steaks a flip and see where we're at. We've got some beautiful sear, some beautiful grill marks, and we will just watch for any flare-ups that we may get, but I think we look absolutely amazing. So I'll go through and push these guys down as well, and now we're gonna take them to that 125 internal. That's gonna be the doneness that will remove them from the grill, get them into the kitchen, and let them rest. Look at that, right there at 125 degrees, we are set to go. So it is time to pull these off the grill. We're gonna head in the kitchen, let them rest. One of the things I like to do while the steaks are resting, go ahead and put a little butter up on top and let that butter work its magic, add its flavor, and we are gonna come out of this with juicy, wonderful, delicious steak. So we'll go ahead and leave the butter on here while it rests. When we come back, we'll show you what it looks like when we cut into it for a little doneness check. We are done resting and now it is time for the reveal. So we will cut right into the center of that and look at that right there. That is a perfect medium steak reverse sear. Next up, we're gonna show you how we make a little fun little steak platter to uh, present this to our friends. And there you have it, perfect reverse seared steaks to make an amazing steak platter. And if you need something great to go on that steak platter, our baked potato video, that coming up next.